Ukrainian president pleads with European leaders to help stop the Russian advance. Erie News Now, Jameson Hixenbaugh is joining us live from our alert desk. Jameson, you spoke with a local political expert earlier today to find out what all this means for the Ukraine as the conflict rages on. What did you learn? Well, even the Biden administration says there is no indication of elevated levels of radiation outside of the plant in Ukraine. The attack comes as the invasion enters its second week with no end in sight. Russia's relentless assault continues as troops attack and seize Europe's largest nuclear power plant in Ukraine, prompting international fears of a nuclear disaster. We should always fear a nuclear disaster, but I don't think in this case um, it's likely. According to Dr. Jerry Jedlin of Edinburgh University, Russian troops seized the power plant to cut off energy supplies to Ukraine. If you can cut off the electricity, you can cut off the flow of fresh water, you can cut off heating. Um, that's the equivalent of laying siege to a, to a city these days. As President Biden announces more sanctions on Russia. We're going to continue to support Ukrainian people with direct assistance. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle are calling on President Biden to ban U.S. imports of Russian oil. The problem with that is uh, it might drive up energy costs at a time when gas is already very expensive and home heating is already very expensive. Following talks with Putin, French President Emmanuel Macron says that the worst is yet to come. Dr. Jenlin agrees. I think that if Putin is pushed into a corner with sanctions uh, and, and perhaps weapons coming in and stiffening the, the resolve of the Ukrainian resistance and military, that uh, who knows what he will do. So, yeah, I, I do think that um, the worst is yet to come. Meanwhile, the value of the ruble has plummeted to a record low of less than one cent due to the sanctions imposed against Russia. Jameson Hixenbaugh, Erie News Now. Jameson, thanks for that. Meanwhile,